I'm going to show you how the BMW N54 wastegate setup works and how to get rid of the rattle. The way that this works is naturally this will be open because there's a vacuum control that will make this close. The whole purpose for that is because you have infinite control over how much boost you want these turbos to operate at, which is all controlled by the vacuum pump. Prior to turbos built around 2006 or so, they were all d done by pressure, so this would be naturally closed. So with it sitting open, it's natural that it will rattle, but as soon as you start the vehicle, the vacuum pump engages and closes these. So then that rattle should go away. So this, you see that's open. So say the car's off, you, you crank the car up, all of a sudden this closes and you shouldn't have any rattle. If you have rattle still after this is already supposed to be closed, that means that for some reason this wastegate actuator is not closing. Now the ways that that could happen, that it would not be closing, is if this adjustment is not correct. I recommend that you watch my video on how to adjust the wastegate actuator for N54 because I'll show you how to do that, how to set this. This arm should come about halfway on this peg right here. So you know that it will pull that back when it's actuated. So if the travel is correct, then you have an issue on this side, whether the diaphragm may be blown or leaking. The way that you can check that is if you can, there's a hole in the bottom of the actuator and it's always at the bottom of the turbo it should be because that's where it's made to drain out water. See the, the holes at the bottom there. So if you take pressure from the air nozzle and force pressure into there, then this will close. And then you can hold your finger on top of that and the arm will stay in that position. So if it's not staying in the position, then that means that you have a leak in the diaphragm. It's not sealing properly. Which means that when you have that vacuum chunk pump trying to pull vacuum to this actuator, it's not able to keep it closed because that vacuum, or it's not building vacuum, so it could be grabbing air through this hole when it's not supposed to. Now if you've checked to make sure that the diaphragm is good, then I would check to make sure that these lines that come off of this, there's no leaks between the wastegate actuator and the vacuum pump. The lines that are originally on the car, they dry rot really easily, so it's recommended that you replace them anytime you replace the turbos. They can break off or they could just have holes in them. Just to recap, check to make sure travel is right so that this will actually close. Be aware that this will naturally be open, so if the car is off, this is normal for it to rattle. As soon as the car starts up, the rattle should go away and this should be closed. If this is not closed as soon as you start the vehicle, then the diaphragm could be bad. The way to check that would be to apply pressure here, hold your finger over it and make sure it's, stay, it's holding its position. Then you release and then the arm should go back out. So if the diaphragm is good, then the next thing I would check is the vacuum hose to make sure that you don't have any leaks between the vacuum hose and the vacuum pump. If you don't have any leaks there, the vacuum pump should be bad, but I guess it could be an issue with the ECU controlling the vacuum pump. I've never had this problem before, but I'm just showing you how it works. A major problem with these is that these, this arm and the bushing wear out. And those parts can be replaced. I have the replacement parts for those. I'll link to them in the description box. If those parts are already replaced, then you can finish this up and put everything else back on here. Now, one thing I do want to keep or mention is that if they are worn out and you put everything back together, you can probably get the adjustment here to get to the point where this won't rattle anymore and it will technically be closed but it can 
close here but because the bushings wear out it can actually lift up on the back side and technically be open in the back but that would get rid of your rattle if you just made that adjustment but then you have another problem with it leaking boost out that hole when it's not supposed to if you adjusted it to where it does fully compress down then your rattle would be gone even though it wouldn't technically be working as it's supposed to correctly but it would get rid of the rattle if this is closed so these lines that go to these canisters these go to the turbos so one is for the front turbo one is for the rear turbo normally you would have them mounted here on the side where the intakes are but because i have the aftermarket intakes i just left these laying here you can pull the line off of these and you can hook up a vacuum uh, there's a thing that you can use to con to produce vacuum so you hook it up to that and you pump it and then you can manually make the wastegate actuator shut so if you connect that to your vacuum pump and you still have rattle then there's a break between the line and the diaphragm or your diaphragm is just bad but if you do that and you find that it the rattle does go away then you have a problem with the most likely the vacuum solenoid is bad or it's leaking between the line and the vacuum controlled solenoid 